No, wait, where's my- Oh, you thought I wasn't gonna find the nut button. Oh, it's well, I guess the fuck was. All right, well, I ate ass again, got pink eye again, so we're wearing glasses again. I know. Okay, 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 guess what got added to defense? I knew it was a good decision. I almost didn't prestige Derek Brooks like 10 episodes ago, but I did. And now they drop an ultimate legend Derek Brooks. Guess who else is allegedly getting an ultimate legend is Mel Blunt. And, and like technically they usually drop ultimate legends for almost every legend player that they release. Like not all of them, but almost all of them. So potentially in the future, we're gonna get a Ronnie Lott, a Mel Blunt, a Randy Moss. The Randy Moss will be insane. A Randall Cunningham, a Barry Sanders, a Bo Jackson. Who knows, but it's all potential for our prestigious. Now, Derek Brooks should be a 97 overall and he should be our starting right outside linebacker, but Levante David has secure tackler. Secure tackler is huge. It doesn't let people like juke you out or some shit. Derek Brooks has pick specialists. He's less likely to drop a ball. I feel like secure tackler is a lot more important because people just spam like jukes and blitzes or jukes and spins. So I feel like that's important. So I have to keep him there because when you play out of position, you lose your chemistry. So I'm putting Derek Brooks over here. Ryan Shazier right down the pipe, and then Malcolm Smith right here. Now we did prestige this episode too, and I haven't talked about my prestige yet. So you might have seen it on offense. I prestige the fullback Bo Jackson into the tight end Bo Jackson. I didn't think it'd be fair to also prestige him on the defense, so I took that Bo Jackson out. Now, my second prestige came in the form of Levante David. I don't know why, I just like totally goofed out and forgot who it was. But yes, we had Levante David. We did lose so much though, and I lost that game, so I couldn't get an extra point. My leg's really itchy. I don't know why. So yeah, you win some, you lose some. We got a 97 overall ultimate legend, Derek Brooks, so I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Hopefully we can get Mel Blunt, and I got to add ultimate legends to the wheel. Why don't we just spin the wheel and figure out what we get so I can stop talking about it? Let's just do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I spin this, two new rules. Well, not two new rules. Remember last episode when I said if I do the challenge wheel, I get 50K or a recycle? Screw the recycle part of that. I'm still gonna play for the challenge wheel. I don't get 50k, I get 25k. And I'll tell you why if I win my challenge. And also I'm taking recycles off. I put recycles on this wheel. I don't want it to get confusing. So the new rule is, I'll spin the challenge wheel. If I complete the challenge, I get 25,000 coins to spend on the team at the end of the episode. So I can do whatever I want with that 25,000 coins. Boom. So I'm just gonna go hop into my spins like we're supposed to be doing on this series. And we'll see how we do on this Super Bowl legend, please. Or oh. I'm so fucking excited that I just got that one right now. I am so excited I just got that one right now. I have been playing Fortnite on the channel so much anyway, and now I just got the Fortnite thing. I'm, okay, this is done. So, here's how the rules work for this. You guys saw the Call of Duty-esque one? Here's this one. Solo Fortnite place times 10k. So, if I get 100th place in Fortnite, I get zero coins to spend. If I get 99th place, I get 10k. And it multiplies by how many people I beat out. No, I cannot hide in a bush the whole game either. That's lame as fuck. But let's say I get first place, which means I beat 100 people. 100 people times 10K, one mil. I get one mil to spend on one player. So whatever I get in one match of solo Fortnite, multiply how many people I beat by 10K, that's how much I get to spend on a player. Yeah, you know what? Let's make this fair. Because what I could just do is I could just land at Pleasant and like loot and there'd be like one other guy. And then that would be dumb. I have to land in at Tilted Towers. I'm dropping in, baby. When I do this. Ah, I won't do clack guys to land. Something purple there. What is that? Oh, no, not a sniper. I don't need a sniper. No, why did I get a purple sniper now of all times? There's so many times I want a purple sniper. Right now is not the time. Maybe I'll just have to quick scope one. Oh, there's a chest in the fucking portal body. Give me something. Oh my God, it's a scoped AR. There's gotta be someone. All right. Okay. Good elimination. We got one kill. Someone is so close by. I can hear him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he heard me. No. Ah! Okay. Got a good solid hit on. Oh my god. You're fucking kidding me. I don't know where the fuck he went. This pussy. There you are. What? What? I shelled that guy. He has four health. Four health. You are joking me, bro. That was so lame. That guy ran around for so fucking long. Whatever. Okay, so I got 40. I placed 44th. 
And there was 99 people to start, so I beat 55, right? 550,000 coins to spend on a meta player. I actually made that a little bit too good, honestly, because it's pretty damn easy to get, like, top 50 in Fortnite. I should have nerfed that a little bit, but that's how I made on the wheel. I'll amend it later. 550,000 coins for one player. Wow, I have so much freedom with this pick, though. What are we going to take? We're going to let Cliff Harris... I can't believe I'm deciding this, but I'm going to let Cliff Harris try his might. He has incredible stats. He's only six foot one. I don't know who the hell he is. That's from Super Bowl VI. Play your heart out, buddy. He's got pick specialist and times two read and react, and I think a lot of my guys on my defense have read and react, so we'll go with him. Whatever. All right. Going on to our next spin. can't believe I'm only on my second spin. We are so deep into this episode. Let's see what we get on this one. Looks like it's going to be a Blitz Boss. I haven't gotten a Blitz Boss in a while. Blitz Boss, 88 to 92. So I can take any of the Blitz Boss players. Tehran Armstead, I might do that. I kind of would like a 92 left tackle. All right, 92,000 coins. We actually have a left tackle. How often? I almost never even touch the offensive line, so it feels good to do this. 92 left tackle. I'm going to be running to the left side this game. Mutt level max. I switched up my jerseys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually switched up. I got some new color rush jerseys on. I think I got Saints and Jaguars on. Yeah, I got Saints and Jaguars color rush. I just felt like switching it up. So let's hop into this game. Let's get a thump. Okay, I just unplugged my mic. This guy's talking to me in game chat. I asked him if he knows who MMG is. He goes, <laughs> I go, you watch any YouTubers? He goes, I Mav. I go, do you watch MMG? He goes, no. <laughs> so I'm already, fuck, I need to beat this guy now. He didn't even fucking watch my shit. Are you in? Yeah. All right, bad. Ooh, Pancake Blacks to start the game out. <laughs> I can't commentate what fucking play I'm about to run because I'm talking to the guy I'm playing. So just keep that in mind when I play this. A little special sauce. Oh, a little Bo Jackson sauce. Ow. I didn't like that. I got a couple players. If I don't win this game, I lose a couple players on my team. That's just how I, that's just what I do. Yeah, I make YouTube videos sometimes. Oh, that's what's your YouTube? It's MMG. MMG, oh. It's, it's, it's what my, yeah, you probably never heard of me. It's all good. No, I don't think I get, oh, that's big. Woo! No blunt. Dog, I gotta get my fucking clout up. If you don't know who I am, I'm pissed. Skirt, skirt! Oh, damn it. I should have gotten that. Yeah, dude, I'm sad that my clout levels are not high enough that you know me. Oh, yeah, here's a little YouTuber fun fact of the day. Oh, the slip screen? Come on, baby. Got one man to beat, Barry. You gotta get that spin, my guy. All right, looks like we're doing two field goals today. Oh, shit. Guys, hold up. I forgot to spin the fucking challenge wheel. Alright, I gotta spin the challenge wheel like halfway through the game, but... Darn it! Alright, oh wait, can I drill this first? Okay, we drilled this. I gotta spin the challenge wheel. I totally forgot to do this. Challenge wheel is getting spun right now. I know this is not how we're supposed to do it, but I get to spend 20,000 coins on the team if I complete the challenge that I just got. And what is that challenge? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't say this out loud, but that's... <laughs> that's some... <laughs> That is like the worst one on here. All right, if I can complete this challenge, 20,000 coins to spend on the team at the end of this video. But if you notice, I, I mean, you probably didn't, but my team's only in like an 83 overall or something. Woo! Oh my God! Oh my God, oh my God that could have been nasty. Yeah, I met Richard Sherman when I was on spring break two years ago. I got a video for it on my channel actually, yeah. That's cool. Hello, that's cool. 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 That's Randy Moss to the house? No, Randy, break that tackle. Uh, it's okay, dude. You, you Seahawks guys know what it's like to choke. Uh. Oh! Uh. It's an yeah. expensive game mode. Oh, that's a dot right there. Nope. Oh, he dropped it. Dang, you're on the 12-yard line. Pass, pass. Oh my god, I totally thought you were gonna scramble till you had both. You had the scramble and the touchdown. What do we got here? Ooh, that's quite open. Ooh, and we got a stumbler. We got a Mike Vick stumbling. Oh, that's a dot. 
God. Boom! Bo Jackson, I needed that so bad. Ooh, this is the biggest play in the game. If I get this, it's game over. If I don't get this, we got a game on our hands, fellas. Let's see those blocks, gents. Oh! No! And Barry got it back? Okay. So that puts me on a fourth and four. You got the timeout. Mm-mm. I ain't putting it. Hell no, I ain't putting it. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to my money play. Somebody get open, and it'll be history. Right there. Oh. Jeremy Sprinkle, the silver tight end. And I think that might end the game. GG, amigo. It was a good game. Thanks for hopping on the mic with me. I appreciate that. No problem. See you, homie. Guy doesn't even know who I f***ing am. What the hell? But hey, we got a dub against the guy who doesn't watch my channel. I'm, I'm so sad about that. I just kind of figured if I'm playing someone on Mutt that they might know me, but maybe not. Dope new helmets. The whole uniforms. Look at me almost blowing that lead, bro. 13, 3, 7, 10, 13. Whew. I beat him in literally every single category. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. All right, guys. We didn't complete our challenge. Fullback run, I didn't know how I was gonna do that in that game. I was like, I didn't score nearly enough, but that's gonna be it for this episode of Wheel of Mutt. New stuff coming, I'm thinking of a way to mega prestige, like eventually, we'll get there though. You'll, I don't wanna like tease you with that quite yet, we'll get there. Thanks for watching, it's always a great episode. Take care you guys.